Alright guys, you know what I just decided? I'm gonna fix the Dell Optiplex GX620 because I just, I wanna fix it because it's worth it in my opinion. Paid like 50 bucks for this computer, bought it back in April last year and uh, I think it's just, I just think it's worth fixing uh, because the, the, the fix is so easy that I don't think it's like, you know, irrational to spend money and fix it. I don't know why my camera won't, there you go. This capacitor right here, excuse the long nails, this capacitor right here is bulging as I said in my video when I made, the, uh, my video I made about this thing dying. This is a Rubicon um, 6.3 volt 1800 microfarad capacitor uh, right here next to the heatsink, which I never understood. But I mean, I guess you have to put them somewhere, right? The problem with these, though, is that the cooling is so bad on these that it gets really warm in between here. This is like a dead spot, and this is right where the hard drive goes. So it's always really warm right here inside the computer. There's really nothing you can do about it. Um, I know that some people have done mods where they took the hard drive and uh, got a 2.5 inch hard drive and then modded the, uh, I think it was the floppy um, caddy here and then just put the 2.5 inch hard drive on there. But I don't have a 2.5 inch hard drive laying around to put in this thing. So I only have my 40 gig right there that I took out of it. And uh, that's how it's going to stay. But anyway. I'm rambling. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this thing. I'm going to order one of these, a Panasonic uh, capacitor that matches the spec of the old one for a dollar and sixty-two cents. I'm going to buy that because a dollar to fix this thing. I mean, that's that's worth it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this motherboard out and inspect it and just make sure there's nothing else wrong with it. And I might take this capacitor off and just leave it like that until the new one comes in. That way I'll have to do a little less soldering work when the new capacitor comes in. So I'm going to buy that very soon and I'm going to pull this motherboard out so I'll be back. Alright so I got the drives out, got the caddy out, I got the uh, bracket out for the heatsink and the caddy and I got the heatsink out. As you can see it's bare bones now. Here's the motherboard. Uh, it's, you know, this thing doesn't look that small, honestly. Um, I don't know if this is a proprietary uh, form factor, which it probably is. But I don't know if this could be recognized as an, as an ATX standard. But, yeah, anyway, I'm not sure. But, I've checked and expected all of these capacitors, and that is the only one that's messed up. You can see how the, the top is kind of bulged, as you can see. You compare it to one of those, see how the tops are flat, that one's bulged. This is the root of my cause, or the root of the problem right here. All the other ones are perfectly fine though, like these. Uh, I like the fact that they use solid caps around the CPU. Um, yeah, all these are fine, as you can see. It has four RAM slots, which I really appreciate. Uh, it's got support, du supports dual channel, one SATA slot. I mean, this is a pretty darn good computer uh, for 2006. Uh, and I, you know, I just wish it wouldn't have died. But we're going to fix it. Now there is one capacitor that's different than all the others uh, in color. The, every, one, every other one of these is a Rubicon. I'm not sure about this one. It does have the same color scheme as the uh, Panasonic, so it might be a Panasonic cat. I'm not sure though. There's more than one capacitor manufacturer that uses the gold and black color scheme. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, PCR Express slot. I mean, this is a nice computer. It was a nice computer. There's the Penny MD. I just left the Penny MD in there because I don't really want to, um, let's clean the thermal paste off. I don't really want to, um, damage the pins with the socket, uh, mechanism locking thing. This bracket that goes around the CPU that holds it in. I didn't want that smashing down on the pins, so I just left the CPU in there. Just, just, you know, just to make sure I don't damage the, uh, the pins there. This thing is dirty. I mean, well, not dirty, but, like, dusty. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and order one of these very, very soon. I think I have a little bit of, um, 
Amazon credit left, so, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm actually going to remove this cap now just because um, I'm going to get my little 30 watt soldering iron all uh, warmed up and I'm going to, you know, desolder that capacitor. So, yeah, I shall be right back with that. That thing works pretty well. Oh boy. Oh, okay, there. Um, yeah, I got the cap off. There's where it was. Here's the cap. Right there. Come on, camera, you can do it. Focus. There you go. This is a good cap. I don't know. It failed. It sucks. Really suckish, but yeah, it's a Rubicon. Come on, camera. Here we go. 6.3 volt, 1800 microfarad, MCZ, rated for 105 Celsius, and yes, one of the terminals came off. That would be that little bastard right there. See, when I pulled the capacitor off after I got the soft, or the, uh, the solder, the solder, you know, loosened up in liquid form, I pulled the cap off, and that little beach stayed on the motherboard it was being a stubborn little nugget so it took a little while to get out but yeah the cap is out now yes that's just solder it doesn't matter I don't think it matters anyway <laughs> um, yeah that's just solder solder joints are right there well they used to be right there but uh yeah hmm I wonder if I melted the PCB yeah I did a little bit I'm not the world's greatest solderer, so whatever. That capacitor is only a dollar, so I mean, if I failed at doing this, then it's not that much of a loss. It's only a dollar. Hopefully, I didn't mess that up. That doesn't look too messed up, but it looks like I did melt the PCB a little bit. Yeah, you can see right there. Oh well, whatever. It's my first computer, uh, well, it's my first capacitor replacement I've ever done, so. Whatever. If it doesn't work, then oh well. I'm out a dollar. Big deal. Throw that cap away. And uh, yeah, I guess what I'll do is I'll just throw all the components back into the case for now. I'm not going to screw them in though. I'll just keep the screws in a bag or something just to make my life a little easier. And uh, yeah, we'll get this thing back up and running. So yeah, I shall have an update video in three to five business days aka when the other one comes here when the new cup when the new capacitor comes in so yeah bam we are ready to put the new one on so I'll see you guys when we do that stay tuned I'm dumb that's what this thing is for solder pump beautiful two nice big holes so I don't have to worry about it when I get the new cap in. Does that board look too melted to you guys? <laughs> oh, yeah, no it doesn't. It doesn't look like I destroyed anything, so... Should be okay. There we go. Got the cap off. Got all the, um, the solder out of the holes there. I wasn't sure how to do that, so I googled it. See? I'm not stupid. Smart people use Google. Use it. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah, anyway, like I said, I think in the previous clip, I'm just going to put all the parts back in the case, and I'll wait for that new cap to come in, which I just ordered, and, uh, yeah, expect an update video from there, expect a repair video, and, uh, we'll expect a repair video, and in that video, we will see if this thing works after I put the new cap on there, so, yeah, thanks for watching the video, I uh, hope you enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, bye.